Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading. I'm doing readings for the full moon that was in Gemini for what we need to surrender um, this week with the energies. And I've been pulling, so for the surrender, I'm using the Power of Surrender deck. I'm also using Sacred Destiny. And then I'm pulling one Oracle card from the Heal Yourself to read at the end. Um, first, I'm going to start off with the, not those, Power of Surrender. You guys are doing well. Christmas is almost here. <sighs> My daughter just turned 17, got her license. Oh, wow. Surrender to silence and surrender to your full power. I'm pretty sure I got these exact two cards for another reading, and I do not know which reading it is. Um, so it says here, surrender to silence. In quiet meditation or contemplation, let go and enter the stillness within. Silence can heal and replenish you. And then surrender to your full power. Your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it safe. Surrender to silence. Surrender to full power. Leave those right here. Now I'm going to pull just some more from Sacred Destiny before we get into your tarot reading. I feel like the energy, like I'm kind of excited. Wonders. New beginnings. Oh my goodness, and success. Yo, I am pretty sure I got these exact two cards in another reading. Two. I'm not sure which one it is because I, I'll, yeah, wonder, wonder, what was it? And new beginning. But then you also got success. So if you're wondering about if something that you're going to start, a new beginning, you're wondering about it, I'm getting here that it's going to be successful, whatever that is for you, Sagittarius. It's going to be different for everybody. I also want to note, um... Before I get into the reading here, that I am going to be picking up on the energies of Sagittarius that are the strongest, the messages that need to be heard the most. So if this video doesn't resonate with you or what you're going through or someone in your, in your immediate environment is going through, check your moon and rising. For me, my rising sign usually resonates more than my sun sign. And actually, Sagittarius resonates a lot because I have a lot of planets all piled up in Sag. <clears throat> Please make sure that you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. It is a free way you can help your girl out. Alright, let's see what's going on for you guys. It's new for me to have so many cards out, like, so, and I'm not even sure if I'm going to ever do this again, because it is a lot of energy. It actually causes me to shake. Um, it's like everyone's calling out for my attention, and it's just, like, a lot. So, we'll see how this goes. Okay, Sag? Okay. So interesting enough, I, I have a card here, it's the Ten of Swords. For me, this is an ending. So you may have like final cut, ended something 
that has probably been because I feel like this energy for for you guys has been kind of lingering for a long time is the energy the energy that I'm always picking up for Sag is like you have this new and exciting thing happening for you guys but there always seems to be like this lingering energy of something from the past still kind of hanging around so with the oracle cards that came out and with this I'm just feeling like the ending has happened or you're finally in a place now where like you don't care like if there's this energy of this person or situation from the past lingering around you do not care anymore you have finally came to a place where you have peace you are in your happy new beginning you're not wondering about it anymore because you are being you're having success in your life whatever that success is for you i'm getting that like you are in the energy of like that final that final ending or that final cutting out has happened for you. So you've already surrendered. You've already surrendered is what I'm getting. Like this is something I'm feeling like for most of you has happened. Or you're in that right now, that moment of realizing like you're amazing and you staying stuck on this energy from the past really isn't serving you. And it's not really bringing anything good into your life. So you're just like done with it. Okay. Yeah, like I'm getting that there's, if, if for the, for, hold on. Okay, I'm getting like this very specific story in my head of like somebody has really in your life, Sagittarius has really been very patient and kind of went with the flow of whatever the situation was happening in your life. And in that energy of them being that for you or being supportive or just kind of it's like riding with you through the waves of changing and you know maybe if you were in a place of being back and forth or in limbo they were supporting you through that like they had compassion and understanding and they were gentle with you and even if they got like they i'm getting that they might have been a moment of frustration or like an, a burst of like um a strong passionate emotion of like frustration or anger and maybe that's what pushed you into like yeah this really like needs to be done but I'm getting like, because of that, because they did that, like you now feel whole. Like you feel complete. There's something about this, the energy where you are really at a point where you're past the past, if that makes sense. You're past, you're past. You're just, I'm getting like, you are feeling like everything is coming to you. You are being really successful. You've done the hard work. You are putting it, all of your energy into creating something new and better than what you had in the past. And you're really starting to see the benefits of that paying off for you. And I just feel like the energy that I'm feeling, like the rushness, the, the, the quickness of this, it feels like once that decision was finally made, like it just like things are just progressing very quickly in this new direction. It's like as soon as you made the decision that like, yes, this is what I'm going to do. I'm finally done. This is my decision. Now everything is just like falling in your lap and you're just riding the, the wave. And I think it feels really good for you. I feel that it feels really good for you. And, but that's actually giving you the momentum to have faith in the decision that you made was correct and to keep pushing you forward towards success. And I'm just feeling like you really are owning, like owning, maybe for a while you didn't take like accountability for your part in something. And I, and maybe you, you finally came to a place of like you taking accountability for like maybe having this lingering on or the energy of like uncertainty. You taking accountability for that had a lot to do with the shift in the energy too. It's like when you are always projecting outward that like you had nothing to do with any all of this stuff that was happening in your life. You're not taking ownership and responsibility 
it, it steals your power from you you're, to create something better because it's almost like you're disowning your power. Like when you're like rejecting that you had any ownership in anything that's happened or you can't accept your part in things that you create or the chaos around you in your life and you're just like, that's not me, it's all this and, that, and you don't take accountability for your part, you actually are rejecting everything, even your power to create something better. But when you own that and say, yeah, wow, there maybe this, I did this and this was wrong and I did this and this created this in my life and you're starting to connect the dots, it, that's part of taking your power back too, like all of your power. You can't just pick and choose what you wanna take ownership over and then look around you and be like, I don't know how or why all this is happening. But when you're like, okay, how can I make this better? And you're really showing up for yourself and taking ownership over your mistakes really is creating like, I hope you're seeing it. If you're not, maybe that's why I'm saying this. But overall, I feel like the majority of the people watching this video know exactly what I'm talking about. You're there already, like you're there. And that's gonna just keep pushing you forward to create something better. It's like no more sitting at home, feeling depressed, crying, poor me, when's it my turn? When's this? It's like, you're just like, nope, get the hell out of here. I'm done with this. I'm over it. I do not want this in my life anymore. And it just feels good. I think like you're finally, finally, I feel like Sag is always good. Sag, you're always good, right? But, you know, there is that part of yourself that you, like when I see in the image of the person in their room, like upset, low, not feeling their best. Um, that's the side of yourself that you don't show people. You're really good at just getting things done. Um, you know, create, not creating, but that's not what I want to say. Not that you don't create, you do, but you are really good at staying busy, working hard, getting things done, always on the go, always on the move. That's what I'm meaning. And in those moments, when you are alone and by yourself, you have those moments, but people don't necessarily see that side of you because you are so um, always on the go. But I'm getting that that energy of like crying and I'm even getting like looking at pictures or me old messages or something. Like you're just like, maybe you realize you're torturing yourself. Like, why am I doing this? And you're done. So if you're still in the thick of it and you're watching this video, know that it's it's on its way out. Like, it's on its way out. I'm gonna pick your Oracle card now and read for you guys. I have that song in my head. Should I stay or should I go? If I know my love you, hello. Okay. Whew. It's the first time I'm seeing this card. It says entrapment. It's number 34, which is a seven. Look at that person in the background. Can we just take a moment to see that? To me, it's like... He's creating this fog or this confusion around her. And how is this so weird? I was just speaking about laying in the bed and feeling sad and down. I love when stuff like this happens. Like the universe is, to me, these, these things are just confirmation that what I'm picking up on is accurate. It's almost like this person some, somehow still has some kind of power over her. Let's see what it says. And they're in a mask and they're cloaked. Okay, number 34. Entrapment. <coughs> Excuse me. It says you are letting too many things in your environment control your life. You have drawn this card because it is, because it is time for a shift in personal power. You are encouraged to take responsibility for your life and choose new ways of thinking that create change. <laughs> the, re the reality is that for you to make the changes you want, need, and desire, you need a system, daily discipline, and motivation. 
As long as you blame outside influences for any circumstances in your life, you are powerless. Holy, I just got the chills. This is literally everything that I was just saying. This is crazy. So you may be having that in your life where like, I'm getting like deja vu. <laughs> um, okay. As long as you blame outside influences for any circumstances in your life, you are powerless. It's the government, your abusive background, the interest rates, and the bank's fault. The system that many ultra successful people use is they read books every day, listen to audios, go to as many seminars as they can, practice recognizing others' achievements, and form relationships with like-minded people. Go Sage. The action to take for this card says, ask yourself, are the people in my life building me up and inspiring me? If not, it's time to take charge and start making change in your environment. Your first step could be cutting out all negative media from your daily life. Another important action could involve changing your diet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cutting out sugar, food with MSG and GMO, and replacing them with fresh organic vegetables. Take a moment and say the following statement to yourself or out loud. I am in control of my life. Nothing can affect me unless I choose to let it. My thoughts create my reality. Keep repeating this statement until you feel stronger. Eventually, you will believe it. It will help you to make new choices. Remember, your words and self-talk are very powerful in altering your physiology. <sighs> Sag, I'm just going to leave it there. I'm feeling really good about the reading, so I'm sure you are. I'm also feeling really good about it because it's the universe confirming to me that all the things I think feel and say are coming from outside of myself and I really needed that today. So thanks to my guides. Um, make sure you guys sub subscribe. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching, bye.